Hi and welcome to a Calculus 1 video on integrals resulting in inverse trigonometric functions. So specifically your antiderivatives are going to look something like this when you're starting. So either this yellow one up here or this blue or this green. Certainly there are others that you can study in further calculus courses. This is meant for Calc 1 so we will probably just keep our studies to these three. So the antiderivative of du over the square root of 1 minus u squared Think to yourself, what function gave you that as its derivative? And if you thought about it and answered inverse sine, you are correct. So this antiderivative is inverse sine of u plus c. Don't forget your plus c. Now again, this is putting the chain rule in there for you, assuming that u is some function, then our derivative of u would be in our numerator. So the opposite, right, this is exactly the same as the yellow integral that we just looked at, but it's the opposite of it, and that would be inverse cosine of u. And then followed by the sum of squares 1 plus u squared in the denominator, that one was inverse tangent. So hopefully you remember those three inverse trig derivatives, so the derivative of inverse sine of u, derivative of inverse cosine u, and derivative of inverse tangent of u, and then that'll help to recognize these antiderivatives. So if I have the antiderivative in question one, one over one plus four x squared with respect to x or dx, what I wanna do is do a quick rewrite here to actually see this as the antiderivative of one over, or you could say dx over, one plus something squared. And so that something that I'm squaring is 2x. And this is again with respect to x, so you can put it up there if you would like, or next to the fraction. So my u is 2x, which means my du will be 2 dx. So I'm going to multiply the inside by 2 to get my 2 dx there. And then I will multiply the outside by a half, because again, half of 2 is 1, and so I'm not changing the value, I'm just changing the way this appears, the inside-outside method. Inside I needed 2 dx, that will become du, and the outside then had to be 1 half, because I can't change the value. So this will turn into 1 half times the antiderivative of du over 1 plus u squared now, which I do recognize to be 1 half inverse tangent of u plus c, and I know my u was 2x. And again, you can always check your indefinite integrals by taking the derivative of that function and making sure that you get the original integrand. Okay, the second one is a definite integral. And so we're trying to integrate dx over the square root of 1 minus x squared. That is just, in fact, inverse sine of x. And we're going to evaluate this from 0 to square root of 3 over 2. So this will be inverse sine of square root of 3 over 2 minus inverse sine of 0. And please remember that inverse trig is solving for an angle. So I will draw this out. So I'm looking for the first angle where the sine or y value would be positive square root of 3 over 2, and I'm just trying to identify what that theta is. And so opposite my square root of 3 over 2 is a 60 degree or pi over 3 angle, minus, and then be really careful with your zeros. Zero is over here, right? So this is the point one zero. So if I were trying to figure out where is the sine zero, the first place that that happens where the y value is zero is right there at zero. I'm not rotating at all. Okay, so I have pi over three is my answer. And again, you could certainly use your calculator to check that. This is not rational, so it'll give you the decimal, but you could certainly get that approximation. I hope you found this video just introducing some integrals resulting in inverse trig functions helpful. Um, it just kind of gets you started, but hopefully you recognize some of those from their derivative values. Thanks for watching.